<sighs> Welcome to Twin Soul, a game I found on uh, in in IndieDB. Yeah. Twin Soul, yeah, by White Noise Team, and uh, here's the description. Twin Soul is a puzzle horror video game that takes place in a distant and desolate town somewhere in Eastern Europe. A player should face frightful creatures and solve twisted puzzles to survive. The game raises a variety of social problems, the expression of which can be found in the appearance of monsters, the environment and characters themselves, photorealistic graphics, and... Different types of enemies with different combat features, allusions to social problems post-Soviet setting, mind-tricking gameplay, and decision-making. Let's hope that the whole mind-tricking gameplay and uh, allusions are uh, really good. But uh, other than that, I don't know, looked good. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Kind of exciting. Post-Soviet. So I don't know if they when they say Eastern Europe, they're really meaning, you know, Russia... Uh, places like that. Like, what else would you mention by Eastern Europe, really? Russia's a pretty big fucking place. But, hey. It's quite the good visuals, damn. Except for this texture. The wall looks nice, but this paper does not. And also it is in Russian, so might as well just say, yeah, post-Soviet Russia. Or something like that. Let's see, can I change... Wait, it's at 720p. Wait, what? Ooh, I'll bring it back. I'm disgusted. All right, so we're back now with 1080p. At least it better be 1080p. Yes, there we go. Everything on ultra, which is very beautiful. Some free matches. Um, what's the objective though? Hmm. I guess we can just randomly explore and enjoy the environment for now. Mouse feels a little off, like the game developers only made it with a controller potentially in mind, but like in that, when the mouse movement just feels off when you're moving left and right, like the uh, sensitivity just feels off. I don't like that. Otherwise, the sky looks well protected. Like I'm struggling. Like left and right when I'm looking downward just feels weird. Like you can tell this slow mo. Like I'm struggling. But if I'm looking here, it looks okay. Looking down, it's I don't I don't get this whole resistance. It's kinda weird. I wonder if it's actually something I can remove. Gameplay no. There's no I'm going to assume it might be relating to a hidden uh mouse smoothness or filter that we can't remove. That's typically what fucks with this. You need direct mouse movement. If there's mouse filter... Okay, so we have subtitles, but they're not in English yet. Okay, yeah, looking down is gonna be a pain in the ass, as you can tell. It's just like... Ugh. The game fights with me! I don't like it. I'll try not to complain about it too much. Okay, so I need to get to the fourth floor. Fourth floor. Eh, I'd rather out of service just a chair in the way. Let's see if we can just go up the stairs, really. Why should we trust an elevator in a horror game? Also, I'll check down here, too. I don't need to go outside right now. No. Okay. Alright. So we got the second floor. Oh. Oh man, I can't get through this. I'm <laughs> sure the elevator must still be working. I, should, I I I hoped I would have seen that at the beginning of the game, honestly. <laughs> but hey, we're going up the elevator then. Okay. No problem. No problem. I'd probably just suggest the less head bobbing and more options for the whole mouse filter thing I complained about before. Because the head bobbing is kind of strange. You just have to imagine yourself walking up and down, you're just sort of... No one head bobs. Head bobbing is not realistic, and I would say just get rid of it. Or have it at least as... <laughs> Fucking Chad movement, Jesus Christ. 
My name is Chan. I'm still looking good. Jesus Christ. Okay, floor. Yeah. Can I squat like a slav, or can I not look at that? Oh god, what? Well, that was disorienting. I was glad that it wasn't in VR or anything. I'm guessing the character will let me know where I'm going. Here. I live in room 418. 418. I get the leather padded door. Okay. Hmm, decent. Hmm. I don't know if I like the whole every door animation is animated for me to open and close it though. Could be a personal nitpick, but... I'm not sure. It just feels off. Could be just me complaining, because not a lot of games do it. But I wouldn't think it'd be something I'd get used to seeing. Like, every time I just want to turn on the light and I have to see that happen. Or open a door, but then think, oh wait, wait, wait. I have to go back in the door. It's I don't know, just, it's either me being too nitpicky, or it's just, but that at the same time, hmm. it's a, a lot of wasted time based on animations. environment though. I have no reflection in this one. Hmm. hmm. Let's just get on with the game. I want to get in with like it being horror, you know? Uh, hey bro, I know you've been sitting in this cell for a little while. You got... You out now? You dropped the soap a little? Give me a call, bro. We gotta talk about some debt collection cha-ching. Yo, dick. For real, answer me. Get fucked. I have enough going on. I don't owe you or your filthy fucking dish licking dog shit. I ain't playing. I want your damn debt paid in full. You already been rotting away in jail wasting my time long enough. Damn, man. Some toxic friends I got. What the fuck does this character want me to do, though? Unless I can... I don't think I can do anything else here. Just look at people being toxic. Oh, the oven? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make myself some tea or coffee. Why not eat some pickles? I'm going to assume I'll move out of the room, then have to come back when I hear the whistling. Or leave the room, then have to come back. God damn that timing. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That, that, that was it? What? What? Do I, do I get do I get a cup or why did I do that? I want to get to the horror. <laughs> something coming. I need something to save me from the monotony. 
Oh wait, I think I had to go to the remote, but I've been hitting the laptop when I didn't want the laptop. So how do I get the remote and not- oh, oh, wait. Was that the fucking problem the entire goddamn time? Oh god damn it. I've been trying to figure out what the fuck the game wanted me to do, but the remote- I've been hitting the laptop repeatedly. No? Okay. Something about shaking? Hmm. So that didn't help- Oh shit. Mm. I forgot to take the garbage out. I better just do it now. Okay. At least it's not as bad as the previous horror game where I complained about guy having to take a shower and turn off the lights. There are flies everywhere. I've been trying to figure out what the fuck the game that guy wants me to do. I mean, I guess if you added a line wing like, hey, let's check up what's on TV, you know, as a narration to tell me what the fuck I need to do. Because otherwise, I was running, running around thinking the remote control wasn't what I needed to do, because I was hitting E at the remote, but it was leading me to the laptop repeatedly. If I knew the remote was what I needed to click on, the remote should be either both somewhere else and the character telling me, you know, that he, he wants to prioritize looking at the TV so I can... Uh, progress through the game rather than search around aimlessly. Also, I don't know where to put the garbage, but I'm assuming it's out here. I don't so. have access to my garbage chute, but I can just take it down to the first floor. Oh, okay. Back in the elevator. Where's the garbage bin? Yeah. What well, isn't in my hand? Maybe it's a metaphor, and I'm the garbage. Yeah. Okay, garbage is... Also, I wish there was a little bit of a sprint. This way. Yes. There we go. I need to wash my hands. Where do you want to wash your hands? Back in your apartment? What's eerie ambience? At least finally I'm feeling a little of the wariness. And the shaking that was reported on the TV. See the something move or is it just... emergency services. Can I just crawl through? Thank you. Oh, fuck, really? It close on his phone? This is definitely not my day. Maybe. Am I the first floor or my floor? We're on the fourth floor at least. Why is my door open? I could have sworn that I closed that. Yeah. Hey! Hey, who's in there? Shit. 
shift to run. Hmm. Mm. But yeah, the whole mouse movement is really jarring. Hopefully then they fix it in the future where it's much, much smoother. The mouth smoothness, I think, would be what is exactly fucking with this, because this is on running the un... That shit fucking kids on bath salts fantastic. Oh fuck! My phone's in the elevator shaft. I'm gonna have to call from the neighbor's place. Hmm. I mean he just they threw the phone. The phone's just outside the apartment room. Why are they fucking naked ass bath salt babies fucking with my apartment? You just like leave your door unlocked. Yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. Not this one. Like, oh, no, I... What the fuck? Oh. Hmm. At least finally shit's getting real, but... I'm not even knocking, I'm just going in? Is anyone here? Ugh. Usually I'm not... I'm so used to movement being only weird and jarring if it's like the cry engine. Let me guess, this isn't because of garbage, but because of a body instead. The fuck is this? What? Well, that's weird. I don't want to close the doors behind me. What is this? Circuit breaker? Fucking basalt babies, Jesus Christ. Is that for this room, though? The neighbor was raising bath salt babies to attack others. Seventy-five percent? Enter here, just it's dark, huh? Uh, I'm supposed to mimic it. Board. Ah, oh, man, what do they want me to spell? Um, lock? I need a hint. I need different words. Oh, there's only so many choices, huh? Oh? Okay. A word with P at the start. Maybe it's actually I could spell it open. If it was open, it would make a lot of sense. Oh, thank God. There we go. But 
why am I even trying to get in here? I, I guess all I wanted was to get to a phone. The fuck kind of crouchy is that one? I didn't, oh, I didn't, didn't, oh, my phone, oh, oh, a flashlight and a gun, nice. I'll take that. Oh my god. It looks like somebody was killed here. Yeah? What the fuck is going on? My fucking basalt babies. Ow! Hey, get away from me! I mean, I just, I would have shot it already. Shoot in the head. Fucking bastard. Hey. hey, answer me. <laughs> what? What the fuck is wrong with you? you? You shot it like dead eye, seven bullets in the exact same location, and then you I killed it. And then you asked it that question. That's a little silly. You can make a joke, I guess, about police. Freeze right there, shoot him ten times. What do you think you're doing, man? Shoot him already, in the head this time, maybe. Can I shoot this time? Why is it the bath salt babies? Why isn't that cutscene mode? Let me shoot. Herder. Have you come to herd the babies and save me? I got jumped by a fucking crack baby. It's either the babies were raised with cocaine. Oh, I get roped? Really? Not not the fucking babies? Really? What wait what? Oh, oh. I was expecting a little bit more. Oh, okay. Like, I wanted to see... Whew, the craziness that was implied. Um... Let me double check. The, uh, what was it? Mind-tricking gameplay. And the allusions to social problems. It shows the in-game picture on the IndieDB game page of the crack babies. At least what I'm calling the crack babies. Or the bath salt babies. The babies that were raised instead of, uh... Instead of the mother's tea, it was raised on the mother's cocaine. Or the mother's bath salts. Um... Confusing, more than anything, but... Gameplay-wise, it, it needs that kind of nice polish and refinement. Being photorealistic is not simply what gets you... Uh, like, what's the thought I'm trying to think of? A lot of people think in the aspect of graphics or everything, it's untrue. You could have a photorealistic game, but it needs to have. Mm, like if it was. Like, I, I get a feeling like it's meant to be Silent Hill ish, but it doesn't have a Silent Hill ish vibe. But if it's not going for Silent Hill, then I, I don't know, because it's like they have these crack babies. And the whole horror aspect came very late at the end of the game. It was just these crack babies. Crack babies aren't scary. Um, it felt like it ended maybe a little prematurely. It, like shit getting real, uh, monsters being chased, and clearly, I guess the maybe the guns and the action and the AI are not complete yet. So everything is just scripted and contained. Um, so this probably needs a lot more work, but otherwise, yeah, the mouse movement needs fixing. I'm going to presume it's mouse, smooth, mouse smoothness, because that's usually how I fix games that have really, uh, like, obnoxious mouse movement. It's usually something to do with the filters and the smoothness. And get rid of that and just make it so it's just raw mouse input, then it usually fixes it. Um... I don't know, and everything else. Redundant animations for turning things on and opening doors I don't think are really necessary. Like, hitting E and opens doors, 
or hitting E or even mouse one button and having so the doors are physics based, you know, like when you can swing it as you wish. Not even those would, would break immersion, but having it so you open and close the doors and have an animation each time to me is a little personal nitpick because it's just it's a redundant or inefficient way of wasting time. Uh, but that, that's just my complaints. But with the mouse movement in mind and those other complaints, and some more polish that isn't graphical wise because I don't know, you, you could have a completely photorealistic game that's even more photorealistic than Crisis was back then. But you have to have also a good game to back up the good graphics. But hopefully that happens, and I uh, hope the developer is able to uh, polish and get the game up to, up to stuff or up to snuff. Yeah, up to snuff and become a good horror game. So we'll see how the development goes along, but I hope you enjoyed this demo anyways. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.